Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to my May edit video. So this is where, if you were new here, this is where I chat all about things that have happened to me in the last month, um, some PR goodies that have arrived that really excited me, and also a few other random favourites. Although the first thing we should talk about is my serious addiction to um, Pascal pineapple lunch. <laughs> mm. If you've never tried these before, these are a Kiwi icon favourite lolly. Uh, pineapple lumps. We don't even grow pineapples in New Zealand, but for some reason this is our national candy. Um, and I can buy these in Australia. My local IGA sells them, but only they don't order them very often. So I tend to buy out all the stock that they have, and then there'll be months between. Um, so I bought a few bags the other day because I saw they were in stock, and hence why I'm like nibbling my way through them. If you watched my last video, you'll remember that I wasn't I wasn't in the best best frame of mind in April and so I kind of wanted to give you a bit of an update of how I've been mentally as well the last month. May hasn't been necessarily any happier, any brighter for me but what I managed to do in May that was different to April is I took some action against um, against my mood. Um, I really tried to uh, find some solutions so that I could like get through it. Uh, so that was a bit more of a turning point for me. There are still days where I'm like, you know, I just want to wrap myself up in a burrito and go to bed. Like I don't want to do life. I don't want to adult. And there are days where I, I'm just so useless in a way. Well, I feel useless. Um, so it's frustrating and it's really de debilitating in a way because you just feel so anxious and so down that you can't get any of the things you want to do done but then you get more anxious because you haven't done the things that you need to do so it's a bit of a cycle um, but this month I really tried to be self-compassionate I tried to look after myself I tried to treat myself <laughs> and a combination of a few little things that I did really um, helped me get through it even things like taking a shower like on the really really bad days um, where I just, I, I am in like a, not a good space, uh, even just getting out of bed and actually having a shower, that can be like an achievement. So I've been trying to acknowledge those small achievements in my day to day life and I've just tried to be a lot kinder on myself. It's hard though, because I feel like negative talk comes so easily to your, to oneself, but to try and convince yourself that the positive talk you're saying to yourself is le like legitimate. Can be really hard but anyway enough about that but I did want to let you guys know I am finding some solutions to try and manage my um, mental health but I also really appreciate the concern from you guys your comments on the last um, my last edit video my April edit was so sweet and so supportive so I really appreciate it because you guys being there for me also really helps me out and makes me want to keep going and makes me want to get out of bed in the morning so I really appreciate it um, this month was a little bit on the quieter side for me musically. There was the main orchestra concert for the month, which was our second one of the year, which I did a vlog for. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that up in a card, because uh, that's very much like behind the scenes of what I do uh, for concerts. It's kind of a, an amusing video for those that don't know anything about the classical music world. Um, and But then apart from that, I really didn't do many other concerts, actually. I just tried to focus this month on my technique. Me and my teacher have kind of been doing like a boot camp sort of situation where I've been um, going through a bunch of really key studies and etudes and trying to just perfect a few little technique things that are holding me back. Um, so I really just tried to have a bit more of a um, restorative month with my technique and try not to overperform so that I wouldn't disrupt that. Um, something else, I, an event I went to this month with Rachel, um, I'll link my friend Rachel in the description below if you're not subscribed to her, we went along to Om Nom Kitchen in Melbourne and had a good taste selection of all their new cocktails. If you're in Melbourne I would 100% recommend going along and checking them out. They were phenomenal. I'll include a couple of pictures of my favourite ones. They had one called the Girls Night Out which is where you like you spritz in your mouth this little perfume bottle and it's got like some sort of champagne concoction in there and then you put on this lipstick that's like a sort of vodka sorbet sort of lipstick thing and then you drink the drink which is like raspberry and vodka oh it's amazing flavors I can't even I'm terrible at describing like food but it tasted really amazing and it was an experience as well so we had a lot of fun at that event and we're definitely gonna go back and try more cocktails because it was amazing but let's get underway with some products. So, firstly I'm going to go through some things that were sent to me. I got so much PR this month, it was insane. I feel so blessed, but unfortunately I can't talk about everything I got sent. 
um, either because I, I did get quite a lot but I also didn't get to try some of the things that were sent to me so I'd rather wait try them out and then give you some opinion on it next month rather than just showing you because I think that's kind of pointless um, these patchology masks I actually got sent these last month but again I didn't try them so I waited to try them this month and then I can talk to you guys about them these were sent to me by Mecca Cosmetica I got the flash mask five minute facial sheets and also the five minute lip renewals I'm not a huge mask person I'm quite uh, forgetful to put them on I love using them but I just you know, I'll do my whole skincare routine and then remember, oh, I was going to do a face mask tonight. Like, I'm just not very good at remembering to do face masks. I'm also quite wary of hydrating masks because they often contain a lot of oils, which can sometimes break me out. But these ones are hyaluronic and vitamin B5 masks. So these are very sort of liquidy. I don't think they've got any oil in them. They're just really like hydrating. So they're great for dehydrated skin rather than dry skin. I still think dry skin can use them, but um, I have a normal to oily skin type, but it gets very dehydrated easily. So these were so good. These actually made a huge difference. And so the face masks are $44 and you get five in there. And then the lip renewals are $22 and you get five treatments in that one as well. This month I got sent a couple of new bronzers to try. I looked back through my videos and I realized I've done four bronzer reviews in the last two months, which is crazy. The world is going mad for pale skin bronzers at the moment. And you guys have been asking me to do them. Um, but I do feel like we might have overdone it a little bit lately So I'll try and hold off and do some other kind of reviews for you for a while rather than just always bronzers Although I don't think many people review face products as much as foundations like there's foundation reviews all over the internet They're very very popular, but I actually do really like often looking up about you know powdered products, too So I think that's there's a bit of a market in there for that um, the first one I did this month was the NARS Laguna. This is the sun wash formula. So this is the new matte formula. And this is a lot lighter than the original Laguna bronzer, which is why I think it's great for fair skin. They do make another shade called Seaside, which is technically meant to be lighter, but I don't think there are any that Laguna is actually darker than Seaside. It's just a different tone. Laguna came off a little bit more cool tone than Seaside, which is a bit more sort of a warmy color, more similar to Hula Light, where it's quite a warm tone. But I do probably prefer the slightly cooler toned bronzer. And the next one is probably the bronzer to beat all bronzers that I've reviewed this year. <laughs> it's the Hourglass Nude Bronze Light Bronzer. This stuff is so good. I'm not even going to go into much detail. I'm just going to tell you that I love it. And go and watch the video. I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it, my review of it yet. Mecca also sent me, um, they sent me quite a lot of stuff this month. They're very, very generous. So I really love the PR team at Mecca there. That's just so generous, so thank you so much. Um, something else that I really loved that arrived was the new Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Blinded by the Light. So this is one of their new highlighters. Um, it's, it had a really beautiful prismatic pattern. I've kind of started to destroy it a little bit, but um, this has very mixed reviews online. Some people love these highlighters. Other people think they're not very good. I personally really like it. However, it's... A dramatic highlighter I wouldn't use this day to day I find that it gives a very wet look kind of highlighter I'm not using it today I've got a my bare minerals one on and the color tone is beautiful it's very pale but it's got a soft kind of pinky champagne um, shimmer to it so it's beautiful I, I thought it was great I also got a new lipstick in one of my makeup packages that I was like this is amazing honestly this comes close to rivaling Mac blankety I still don't think it's better than MAC Blankety for me, but it's a nice change to have something a little bit different. This is one of the new Stella Color Balm lipsticks, and it's in the shade Jessie, which is a really, really beautiful nude color. It's a little bit more of a tan nude, so I'd say it's kind of a cross between MAC Blankety and MAC Velvet Teddy. It smells like a peppermint mocha from Starbucks. It smells like Christmas. It's beautiful. The formula is so creamy, so moisturizing. Like it's a hell of a lot more hydrating than the MAC lipsticks. So when my lips are crazy dry from wearing too many matte li liquid lipsticks, then I will reach for something like this because it is just a lot more hydrating than my MAC one. This month I also got a really beautiful package from La La Lu Cosmetics. They reached out to me. They're an independent company that has an et Etsy shop. I'll link them below. They wanted to send me one of their flower highlighters. Look how pretty it is. It's basically a loose highlighter on a silk flower and it's handmade these are, this is a very like independent you know homemade sort of cosmetic company and oh my gosh this highlighter is so intense I would say it's even more intense than the Too Faced one you actually almost have to be a little bit careful the first time I applied this I went way too overboard 
and looks like a tin man so I had to like tone it down with translucent powder it actually doesn't swatch that strongly but when it's on the cheek it's like boom I'll definitely make sure I use this in a tutorial for you guys so you can see it in action but man it's so pretty it sits on my vanity because it looks so beautiful they do have I think six highlighting shades and now six blush shades so there's a huge range of colors for every skin tone this one looked the nicest um, shade of highlighter for pale skin it's a very sort of pearlescent it reminds me a lot of um, Becca Pearl, so it's very white based, sort of pearl, um, yeah, very silvery, so that kind of bright highlight. This month I also got sent a new straightener from GHD. This is one of their new ones from their Wonderlust collection, and it's so beautiful. I really love the little pink metal bit down here, I think that's a really nice touch. And I just thought the pattern was beautiful. And I love the platinum for curling, I did my whole hairstyle with this today. I love how the platinum has such a smooth kind of barrel essentially like you run the hair through the hot plate don't worry it's not on but you run the hair through the hot plate and then it's just got such a nice smooth base to wrap the hair around and get a really nice um, curl I just I love the curls with this one if you've been following my channel for a while you know I'm on a bit of a makeup ban so apart from PR products I'm not actually buying more than 12 items this year and so far I've actually only bought two because I've been very good at using up my collection like shopping through my collection like using up foundations I already own and just trying to be a bit more like you know a little bit more frugal uh, and I still get to try lots of fun things because I get sent PR but this was a product that I knew I had to spend my hard-earned dollar dollar on I've seen so many people using it in tutorials and then I swatched in store and I was like this has to this has to come home with me it's the Stila Magnificent Metals liquid eyeshadow and diamond dust I used it in my recent smoky eye tutorial which I'll link as well for you if you haven't seen it it just comes out with a little doe foot applicator so you just sort of paint it on and it's just so beautiful I wore this on stage in my performance and everyone was just like so much glitter like it was so sparkly but I love to sparkle so this was a real treat for me and I'm so pleased I purchased this I grabbed my one from Mecca I don't think it was that expensive it was probably around $30 or something. Yeah, the packaging is gorgeous as well. I love the gold tube. Another product that I've really been reaching for and I've kind of fallen back in love. This is like an old favorite of mine. It's the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Base. OG watchers of my channel will remember this was like the primer I used like two or three years ago. It was like every tutorial I'd use this. Um, I stopped using it because I was just working my way through other primers. I also have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. But actually, now that I've been using this again, I actually think I like this better because it is more like a primer. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect is not marketed as a primer. It's, it's a liquid highlighter, um, but I used to just sort of slap it on and use it as a primer. But I think because this one is designed to help, you know, your makeup go on smoother and it gives you luminosity. It's just a little bit nicer under the makeup, I think. But yeah, I love it. And it's drugstore. It's not the cheapest drugstore item, especially here in Australia. I think it's still around $30 um, from Priceline. But they often do 40% off cosmetic sales, in which case I would 100% pick this up in one of those sales because the stuff is awesome. So I will continue to buy this when it runs out. It's fantastic. This month I went and purchased the full size of my Soap & Glory The Righteous Butter. I had a travel size that I used up and I absolutely loved it. Oh, this body butter smells like Miss Dior perfume. So if you love that scent, this is pretty much an exact dupe. And I wore this the other day alone with no perfume and I could still smell it on my skin like eight hours later. If you apply this like over your whole body, you don't even need to apply perfume. But I also thought it'd be a nice idea to layer this with the Miss Dior on top. Um, so I'll probably try and pick up Miss Dior again while I'm traveling overseas because I can get it duty free. I don't own it at the moment because I ran out and I just haven't repurchased it. I'm trying to work through some of my other perfumes. But this layered underneath of that perfume I think would be just like the perfect combination and you just smell beautiful all day. It's also a really nice moisturizing product. Like it works very well. But for me it's the scent. That's why I put body butters on. I also wanted to talk about my favorite hair care that I'm using at the moment. I think in my last edit I said that I was going to pick these up. It's the Kevin Murphy Blonde Angel Wash and Blonde Angel Conditioner. And I did, and I've been using them, and I've absolutely fallen back in love with them. Like, this is by far my favorite kind of skincare line. The Kevin Murphy products look after your hair, they condition it, but they don't weigh it down. Like, you never feel like your hair is getting stripped. And they also have a very decent pigment in them. They're not quite as strong as, like, the Fudge Purple Shampoo, but that stuff really wrecks your hair. So I think if you're more concerned with toning your hair but look also looking after it, I would grab this little combo. So, yeah, I mainly focused on beauty products this month. I did have a few other things, like fashion things, written down, but I thought, no, I've just got so much to talk to you guys about beauty. 
that will just keep it mainly beauty focused. June for me is going to be a very busy month. Uh, semester has finished at uni so June for me basically involves a lot of pre-filming for while I'm away all of July. And I also have to do a lot of research writing. Um, during the term I often don't have much time I think to do writing because I've got classes to be at and um, I am focusing a lot on like my practical side of my PhD so whenever it's the sort of mid semester break or the holidays like I'm always like that's my time where I can actually get some writing done so June will basically be spent filming, writing and learning the repertoire that I need to for my July tour. In July my New Zealand based string quartet is doing a tour of New Zealand so I'm literally going to be away for four weeks so I have to do a lot of pre-filming for you guys but I have it all planned out, I have a really good schedule and as long as I can keep myself happy and in a good space I should be able to get it all done. But yeah that's basically my month. Oh and I do have one day off planned for June. <laughs> I know that sounds silly but I, I am very busy that I often don't get days off so it's really nice for me to schedule a proper like holiday day. Before I go on my tour I'm actually going to visit my mum in Canterbury in New Zealand and we're gonna go up to Hamner Springs on a day so we're just gonna have the whole day off to just like laze in the pools and have a really nice relaxing day. So I'm really looking forward to that. I feel like that's going to motivate me for the month, that one beautiful day off at the hot springs. So I hope you enjoyed today's edit video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me if you did enjoy it. If you missed last month's, I'll link that up here for you. And you can also subscribe by clicking on my face down here. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.